Cubase Academy with a very short video in response to a question I got via our Cubase Academy Facebook page. And it was about assigning channels to, in this case, it was Superior Drummer, but this really applies to any instrument that can output multiple channels of audio. If it has its own mixer, something like Halion Sonic or Halion 6, uh, and in this case, uh, I'm using Easy Drummer and applies to Superior Drummer too. So I have a really basic track here, um, just a quick loop. I've actually dragged the MIDI content up into Cubase, so it's not playing from uh, Easy Drummer, it's playing from Cubase. Just a very simple drum loop. And right now it's all going to, uh, well, I should probably loop that to be useful. Right now it's all going to uh, channel one here, mixer channel one. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. Okay, you can see that it's a kick, snare, and hi-hat, and it's all, and there's some toms in there too, and it's all going to channel one. So the question was, how do you break that up so you can mix those drums in Cubase and apply individual effects to individual drums? And the answer is uh, twofold. First of all, you have to uh, tell Cubase how many tracks you're working with. So we'll assume it's kick, snare, hi-hat, and we can do stereo toms, or we can do individual toms and overheads. So let's just start out with uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll start out with seven channels. And okay, so the first step is to come here in Cubase and activate seven outputs. I'm going to do eight just to be safe. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Of course, we have an all outputs here, and you can see that Easy Drummer supports 16. Um, different instruments support different amounts. Halion 6, for example, supports 64 outputs, uh, which is pretty astounding. So now we have our eight outputs active, and you can see they have now shown up in the uh, in the in the uh, mixer window. So I know I'm going to put them in. Snare, hi hat, and I am oversimplifying this because uh, <clears throat> I'm, I'm probably there's probably more options in Easy Drummer. We'll go uh, Tom left and Tom right, but you can also put uh, all the toms on individual channels. We'll go um, overhead left, overhead right, and there might be an ambience channel. Um, and maybe we should have made that stereo, but I can always come back and add a channel. But we'll start there. So now I have the tracks in Cubase ready. All I have to do is come to my instrument. In this case, it's going to be Easy Drum. I go to the mixer and then tell it which output down here I want it to go to. Well, output one is kick. Output two is snare. Output three is high hat. Um, and then toms. Now, in this case, <clears throat> it looks like toms are just put out in one stereo channel. So I'll change that. So we'll just go to output four. Okay, we'll come back here and just change output four to toms. Okay, which means we won't need this one. We'll just move everything down. That's, uh, maybe I should label it after I finish here. So we've got overheads is also stereo, right? So we'll put that on five. And there is an ambience track. We'll put that on six. And um, if you want to move your compression, reverb, and everything to a channel, I'll actually put this all on uh, seven. That way I can choose to use it or not. And if I want to split it to other channels, all I have to do is make a channel and move it. There's no shaker, there's no tempering. These don't matter. I'm just going to do it for consistency. And seven. Okay, so I have a choice whether I want to use those or not. So that was kick, snare, hi-hat, toms, overheads. Um, and what was on? Let's see. One, let's see. Overhead, <laughs> and we don't need this one. 
Oh, this one. We'll just take the labels off. I'm going to go ahead and play the pattern now. Let me just see. And we can mute these. We can go through and mute and listen to them individually and solo them. Okay, that's just my kick. Little snare. There's a little cross talk in there, which is interesting. Hi hat. Uh, toms, overheads, ambience, everything else, the compression. I'm going to pull that out. So, that's really it. Uh, and you can, of course, um, you know, you can go crazy here. And then now you, we can, of course, assign our own compression to individual channels or all the channels. We can move drums to subs, etc., etc. It just gets them out of this mixer um, and into your Cubase mixer. So I hope that was helpful. <clears throat> and uh, as always, thank you very much for watching the video. Uh, please, uh, if you enjoyed it, if you found it useful, give me a like. And of course, subscribe. There'll be more videos to come. Thank you so much. Bye.